Welcome to This Week in Colorado Soccer. Join me alongside head coach Danny Sanchez, coming to you this week from the locker room. Yeah, the newly renovated last season locker room, very nice. Yes. Just going to get right to it. Yeah. Uh, sometimes it's not your day, and, yeah. and Saturday was definitely that day for the Buffs. But uh, take us through the match. Obviously, um, a tough loss, but uh, a quick start for the Buffs. Yeah, I mean... Our best start of the year. Um, maybe we shouldn't do that again. But yeah, nice, nice service from Rachel. Uh, Faith Leva keeps it uh, alive in the far post, and Anderson uh, taps it in. So it's a minute and a half in, and we're up a goal. Um, you know, after that, I, th I think we just lost our way a little bit, and uh, you know, we give up the, the goal on the counter. Everything's fine, but then we give up the, the penalty kick, which you know, it's uh, unfortunate for Phoenix. The ball hits her hand, but at the end of the day, it's a penalty, and and then we're reeling, and. Uh, you know, we just didn't really bounce back. I thought the second half was a little bit better, but you know, to be fair, the, the game was uh, um, stretched at that point. Uh, so uh, it's one game, uh, like Jason Green pointed out, we had been losing for 45 seconds all year. Um, so we tacked on about 88 minutes to that uh, total, but it's one game, we're 10, two and one, um, and we control our destiny still, and we have a huge match, which we'll talk about with Texas Tech on Thursday. But but overall, I'm, I'm pleased with how the team bounced back. Um, it was very disappointing. Is it better to lose late 3-2 or lose 6-1? to one? You know, a loss is a loss at the end of the day. And uh, so we'll be ready to go on Thursday. Thursday, as you mentioned, Texas Tech down uh... – in Lubbock playing the Red Raiders, uh, so a chance to get right back at it. And then, of course, you'll be back home on Sunday. But uh, take us through what you're expecting out of the Texas Tech match. Yeah, I mean, they are playing really well. They're at the top of the table, tied with West Virginia. Um, you know, they're, they're on a, a big winning streak as well. They've only given up one goal in conference, and I think that was like their maybe second or third game. So um, they're really defending well, and, and they're attacking uh, very uh, efficiently. You know, it's a team that won the league last year, and they're at home, and they have a lot of confidence. So. We're going to have to withstand a little bit of early pressure. We're going to have to be smart, and we're going to have to play better. But we're, we're every single person in this locker room and staff knows that, that we can be better than we were on Saturday. So we're excited for it, but it's going to be a huge challenge for us, for sure. And then back home, UCF coming to town on Sunday. Second to last match at home. It's crazy. And actually, UCF is playing their Thursday game in Houston. Uh, so, they, they'll, so they'll get here. So it'll be noon on Sunday. Uh, but yeah, last Sunday game of the year. Then we'll have one more game against uh, October 25th against Utah. So the fans have been fantastic this year. And I really, you know, on Saturday, I wasn't on this over there, so I'm sure there was some mumbling. But at the end of the day, they stayed at the end, and they were supportive. Um, and it's really important to the players. So um, Sunday... Once again, this fall weather is off the charts, so there's no excuses there. It's going to be another beautiful day on Sunday um, against a very talented UCF team that's kind of been up and down in conference. So, uh, but every game's tight, you know. Every every game it's going to be a battle, and uh, we know that. But we're excited for Sunday as well. But obviously, all of our focus right now is on Thursday. As a PSA to our fans, I don't know that everybody. I'm, I'm, I assume that they know that there's a tournament, which is why. Yeah. We're playing Utah, and it's like, but it's not going to be snowing like a normal yeah. senior day. <laughs> yeah. But uh, talk a little bit about the Big 12 tournament in Kansas City at the current stadium, which is a beautiful venue. Yeah. Um, I, I just feel like uh, maybe, maybe everybody doesn't know that we're going to Kansas City, everybody. Um, and good opportunity, probably going to face uh, TCU again um, in that tournament, or a good chance. Uh, talk a little well, about Well, basically, we're finishing our regular season two weeks earlier than we normally do, to Eric's point. So, yeah, normally we could we'd be playing this uh, senior day on November 7th or 8th or something around that weekend. So, um, but yeah, I mean, we're excited to have, have a tournament. You know, we're, we still have five conference games left, but we are looking forward to that. The Kansas City Current and the NWSL built a world-class uh, soccer facility for the uh, for a female team only we're excited to get out there uh for that when it starts um but uh part of the reason that the season there's more urgency in these last couple of games uh but there's a little bit of a carrot at the end of it but we need to finish strong um we can uh we still have a, a ton to play for in the regular season obviously the postseason is a whole nother game but we're excited for it all right well uh, good luck with those two matches this weekend and as always you can follow us all season long cubuffs.com soccer and we'll see you next week